I love you. I love you more. I think that's up for debate. It has been a long election night. The entire race now hangs on Texas. It's possible we are just minutes away from knowing who the next president of the United States will be. With 265 electoral votes, Governor Richards has swept Pennsylvania, Ohio, Minnesota, Let's find my Wisconsin, dad. and his home state of breathe Michigan. Breathe out. I'll breathe and we win. Claremont is behind. She's currently- Crikey, a that's a lot of red. Yes, it is. It's all going to come down to Texas. Remind me how this works again. We're the blue team, right? What do they teach at that fancy private school? You just say the word. I'll get you enrolled at UT Austin. Now turn to Texas, the president's home state. Texas, of course, has 40 electoral votes, which means very bluntly and simply, it's easy to do the math here. Whoever wins Texas is going to win the White House. Will not be hey, Mom. Hey, huh? I wanted to say something like, um, this, this campaign was never about just me. It's about the country we hope to lead to our children. You may remember that it was her son, Alex Claremont Diaz, who was a driving force in turning her campaign's focus to Texas. And some people said that was to the detriment of the campaign's ability to carry the so-called Rust Belt states tonight. It was a bold gamble to focus on Texas. We're going to see tonight if it paid off. Turn I think my mom's working on her concession speech. You fought hard, and it isn't over yet. You still haven't noticed my tie. Yellow roses. <laughs> I read it was a thing in Texas. I thought it might bring you some luck. Oh my God. I'm so grateful you're here. There are people who will tell you that elections don't matter. But try telling that to the auto worker in Michigan who worries whether or not their plant will be shut down. Tell that to the transgender high school student in Mississippi voting for the very first time. Elections do matter because they give you a voice. And your voice is blended tonight with the voices of millions of Americans just like you. Open hearted fearless, and alive to a bolder, brighter, braver future. What do we do now? Do you still have my key on you? We won. After you. 